Last episode we sailed through some thunderstorms to Corfu and we had fun exploring the old town. After two weeks, a work trip back home and more thunderstorms, we were ready to leave for Italy. We had more thunderstorms on our trip to Italy and we were too exhausted to get any footage of our arrival in Le Castella, unfortunately. The day after our touchdown and after some good sleep we continued along the coast of Calabria and the next stop was Rocella Ionica, where we rented bikes to check out this little coastal town. Porte gazuna con un stemma reta Na cupulella che vi si era aizzata Passa scampaniana pattuleta Con mano appa pata fa guarda Tu vuoi fare l'americano, americano, americano Sienta a me chi tu fa fa Vuoi vivere alla moda, ma se bevi whisky e soda, poi si è disturbato. Tu a ballo rock e roll, tu gioca a pesa bolla, vei sorta beccamella. We didn't find too much information about this place, except that its roots might go back to the Magna Grecia, the ancient times of Greater Greece. We wanted to have a close-up look of the fortress ruins, and on our way we stumbled upon a tunnel system that might have been an air raid shelter. The fortress ruins were under renovation, so we couldn't go in, but the view was still spectacular and the color of the sea was amazing. <laughs> I should add that our bikes were the worst. They belonged to the marina and it was free for guests to just take them. But they weren't fully functioning, so my bike didn't have any working brakes and it was truly neck-breaking to go downhill. Before we left for our next trip to Sicily, the boys enjoyed themselves in the waves and, of course, as always, there was boat work to do. The trip to Sicily was great sailing, a little bit rough to my taste, and the mounting of our stuff didn't survive. We arrived Catania in Sicily late at night and on the next morning we could see the Etna smoking in the back. On the other hand there was a nightclub directly next to the York Club where we were staying, so the nights weren't too quiet. Of course we had to see the Etna volcano, so we rented a car and drove up. The Etna is Europe's highest volcano with more than 3,000 meters and it's still pretty active. Its last eruption was only less than a year ago and you can see traces of its activity everywhere around the Etna. Going up to the peak is only possible by gondola, but we didn't do that. Ticket prices for gondola were just ridiculous. I'm dressed completely wrong. <laughs> like 11 degrees up here, and price to go to to use the gondola to go to the top is 63 euro. 
per person but we are poor we have to walk no money <laughs> mayo oh it's so cold oh the gondola stopped someone did something stupid but today it's not a Wow. Yeah, he wants to take some. Oh, a ladybug. The trip was still very, very interesting, especially the boys were dragged to the evacuated and partly buried houses and buildings. On our way back to the boat, we took advantage of the car and went shopping for food. Our first big supermarket in Italy and we bought so much stuff. We I mean, not so much stuff, we actually just bought lots and lots and lots and lots, lots, lots of pasta. Pasta and all chips and sizes and colors and we have the black ones. I don't know. And wine and yeah, pasta, pasta, pasta. The kids doing their homework. What's the subject today? Volcano. Volcanoes. Etna. Etna. Why? Where are we? We are in. I don't know how the town's called, but. Catania. Catania, and you can see the Etna somewhere there, maybe. Well, not now. It's beneath the clouds, but this morning it was very clearly visible. And we went there yesterday. How was it? Big. Big. <laughs> and this is some mess. How was mess? Hmm? How was mess? Viva Mate? Uh, Easy, difficult? Easy. Easy. After we finished school, we packed up and left for Syracuse, about 30 nautical miles to the south of Catania.
Join us next time when we explore Syracuse. We find a great mooring spot right in the middle of Old Town. The boys go diving. And we go swimming at the Old Town Beach.